kind of a nice off-street path. I gotta say, this wa weather feels fantastic. Fantastic weather. The cloud is blocking the sun, it's cool. It feels a little moist, like a, it doesn't seem like it should rain. If it did, it would be very light. But there's extra moisture in the air and it feels awesome. I'm just sitting here enjoying the, the feel of the weather. Perfect, perfect moment. I've been eating a lot more fenugreek lately, mixing it with my shredded wheat cereal because I like the taste and the effects. It's got a slight numbing effect, a pretty good taste. And the medicinal uses are for women mostly in their uteruses and stuff, but it's said to reduce uh, pain or at least increase comfort. And I'm feeling it. I just wonder what would happen overdoing it that's a big concern i guess something i'll find out the hard way all right so apparently i've trespassed on state property they leave the lock unlocked native resources permit responsible individual is kurt homan this is all state property dust complaints call maricopa county environmental service department's complaint phone line 602-506-1212 I was trespassing on state property, which is just, there's nothing there. They're just protecting a wasteland. All right, Sheraton Desert Oasis, a vacation ownership resort. So this is where the rich, the rich northerners come to spend their, their winters. Vacation ownership. Imagine how, how empty this this area might be in the summertime. So this is how they close soccer stations, and some guy's got his dog on the soccer field. They put a big sign up. I've never seen that before. Got a dog on leash law, and nobody abides by it. <clears throat> Do not drink from the... Oh, here's the rules. I'm sure the number one rule is going to be no camping, right? Oh, no. The number one rule, it's all in Spanish. There's no rules for me, then. I can't tell if this is a temporary setup or a permanent one. It seems, seems permanent at this... Uh, like this golf course area. Bay Club in Scottsdale. They're really putting up a lot of new stuff. <laughs> There's like two of them and oh my God, like three big warehouse buildings all on the golf course. <laughs> Too far from the Scottsdale Air Bay, Air Fort, Air, Airport. I think they might. this might be a professional setup for PGA stuff. Also, I take a left on Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. Did he do some work here? I'd really like to look at it. I love his work. Sneaky Big Studios, the Parsons Agency, Big Yam, those are some names, Yam Properties, info at yamproperties.com, uh, where's Walmart, they own all these properties, sounds like they're probably 
hire in the best security too. The Home Depot, maybe Walmart's at the end here. I understand that uh, yams grow better in Mexico because of maybe the warmth. So maybe they grow good in Arizona. Maybe they're growing them somewhere around here. I've never heard a business titled after yams, but then again, there's no onion businesses that name themselves after the onions in Idaho or the potatoes. All right, so it's no overnight, no trespassing. They even go so far. I like to think I could probably get away with one night. Okay. I just don't see how they enforce it, how they would need to, unless this neighborhood is really bad. You know, maybe I will skip this Walmart. <clears throat> they got warnings about plain clothes policemen patrolling and, and policemen patrolling the area. And uh, it, looks a, it looks a little ghetto, just a little bit. Wow, I just noticed this Walmart has the extra space for uh, car camping and stuff. I don't think they want it to ha happen though. They got the space for it. It's an extended parking lot. Yeah, but they got the warnings. <clears throat> against overnight parking and the extended parking lot. Does shopping get so busy that they actually make use of this extended parking lot for, for shopping activity? I mean, they're paying for the space. Man, this bike is really good for busy intersections. If there's no walk signal and there's a green light, I could still ride the bicycle across. Looks like they got an alternative way to get across this, this intersection. Frankly, right? I'm coming back across that? right I'm mistaken it did seem a little far back from the road I don't think it's crossing this road I'm frankly right I, it goes across that way <clears throat> so that's not an option I go straight down this way cross over the highway it's probably another mile to the Arabian library this guy is spraying the side for some reason keep the dust down Keep the dust out of the the canal. All right, the Arabian Library is this way. It's a lot of sidewalk. Oh my god. I don't think it's this way. <clears throat> All right, so I do not want to come to this Arabian library because they close the gate. They probably got a sign also that says they, they uh, don't want anybody here after hours. I don't want to deal with that gate closing. I don't even know where I could park. Probably the uh, aquatic center if I did come here, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will drive here. They've gone with a very rusty steel or iron uh, for, for walls. I bet it's very thin, but it's rusted. And it's probably intended all a part of the design. Yeah, I just, they got that gate. I don't want to deal with that. Maybe I could ask. Open nine to eight, Monday through Thursday. Uh, I didn't really see any, oh, there's a bicycle parking. Okay. Oh, those are for lights. And also they got a weapons locker too. Oh, no keys. 
I guess you get the keys. You get the keys inside. <laughs> or the they're full of guns. You know, it's so much easier for governments to pay tribute to dead people rather than help uh, people who are in, in need, who are actually alive. Oh, jeez. Where are the doors? Is this even the front entrance? Left on Bell, right on Perimeter. I don't understand what Westworld is. But they take up a large parcel of property. I just passed a ho hockey rink. This is a fitness zone. I gotta say, I expected to see a lot of goat head to stick in my, my bicycle tires. And it's... Yeah, it's not really a problem. It's like a problem specific for Idaho and Utah, but not Arizona. This is obviously the lizard bridge. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Lizard, lizard. They like to put that, they gave him a long tail. I like to put that artwork. I forget the name of the road, but I know it's on the lizard bridge. Oh, that's right, it's Bell Road. I ride a left on an unmarked trail because this goes to like a dead end T intersection and then a right on North Hayden Road. Perimeter is a major employer employment road. Technology Axum? That's one of them. Technology or something, but they got they hire people by the thousands. Here's another one, Abbott, A-B-B-O-T, private drive, private property, private drive, with their metro van pools. Did she win? Did she win? A Gunti, Eugenti, can't even pronounce, I probably can't pronounce it right. Right, they decorated more than one bridge with lizards. So it looks and feels like my seat so job is holding up pretty good. I don't know where the stress points are, but it's holding up good. Mmm, I'm such a pig. I just ate a whole chicken. That's all that's left of it. A whole thing of yogurt. The whole thing of these natural almond delights. Oh, well, wherever that package is. Oh, it's over here. But I didn't, I didn't eat the almonds yet. But a whole thing of these sprouts, all in one sitting. That's like twenty dollars. I just sat here and ate. I spent 20 yesterday with those three pounds of berries. I don't make enough money to, to pay for all this food. Even in this heat, I still eat. <clears throat> I now feel full. 
it took a while. It took a long while. <sighs> but I got to that last, that last date roll, and I was like, ding! I finally feel the ding. I find I forgot. I also ate four tomatoes with all of that. I ate the four tomatoes with the chicken to try to add some moisture in between the meat and between that protein. I tried to focus on things that were like moistening because uh, I really don't want this getting stopped up if I'm going to overeat. I've been such a bum. All right, so the temperature is kind of dropping to the point where I almost feel like I could use a sweater. So North Scottsdale feels like it's North Ogden and that everything is seems so tame and civil. Although these cars are just crazy on this road. That's annoying for getting over to my parking spot. Back and forth too. Morning, night, it doesn't seem like it matters any time but Anyway, North Ogden is just seemed similar to North Scottsdale because there appears to be a difference in Scottsdale. They have a North and then a Main. And this is a very long light. <clears throat> you can see the white cross signal is on. It's automatic. They okay now the counter is going, but uh, <clears throat> just like Ogden, they separate Scottsdale too. I gotta confess, I've been spending a lot of time in this area now. How long has it been? Like four or five days? I'm really enjoying it. I'm close to a grocery store, library, parking. Parking isn't too far. It's very convenient and I don't get bothered. And I think I could go for one more bicycle ride to the east. That's the plan. Take an east, maybe. I gotta look at the map again. I've been just acting like such a bum getting sidetracked by things that look interesting videos on youtube and whatnot just allowing myself to to get distracted and sidetracked wasting time i guess it's just such nice weather it's relaxing area once again <clears throat> CED 7200. <clears throat> I'll just make a voice note of it. That. <clears throat> oh, just later. It happened really fast and I didn't really want to talk about it. Okay, a van pulls up with two, two, two gypsy looking women up to an older couple and the passenger just started talking to this older couple. I'm pretty sure she was begging for money. They had windows smashed out of their vans, out of their van. And I think they just kind of roll up on these old people, these two ladies, and they have a child in the back. And I'm pretty sure they were begging for money. This is a very affluent area. I, I had a lady be extra, extra nice to me, uh, asking me for, for money right in the Safeway. There was like... There's like a lady ringing the bell in front of the Safeway, somebody inside the Safeway begging, and I was looking for a basket, and she actually offered to like look for a basket for me. I just kind of gave her a wave of the hand, but you also got a third beggar, these Egyptian looking ladies, they're just driving up and down the parking lot begging. I'm thinking, I did not hear what they said, but that's my impression, the way it just, it looked so odd to see these old people. And and the conversation lasted maybe 45 seconds. Uh, the old people just kind of walked away. And yeah, the van drove away. It would be interesting to watch them further. That really caught me by surprise to see that. I. I'd be very interested in watching them further. I just don't want to be a creep standing standing around watching them. 